me take a few minutes and just give you a quick overview of some of the lovely costumes that we have on display here today. What we have here, as well as some of my young people who've come to share, um, to spend a few minutes with us in some of these costumes as well, what we have is just, uh, it just scratches the surface. Poland has a fascinating amount, number of costumes. Every region has costumes. Even within a region, there are multiple, multiple costumes. This is a great map here. If you haven't looked at it closely, you can even see some of the costumes are displayed here on the map. But even, like I said, within a certain region, like for instance, I'm a Guralka, I'm from southern Poland, and I'm, I'm wearing my Guralskie costume. The men's costumes, if you take a look at the costumes that the men wear, they, they're like a, a wool pant that they wear, and they have a design. And the designs that you see on them are varied depending on what area in the South that you're from. So there's a great, great variety, and I certainly don't pretend to have uh, any kind of exhaustive uh, um, uh, display of costumes here for you, but we hope to uh, show you just a couple of uh, some beautiful ones. We'll start over here at this end. These are probably the most familiar costumes that you have seen. These are from the region, they're from the city of Kraków. Um, and, and yes, and everyone goes, mm hmm, because all of us, if, if you're my age or, or older, you were in every Pulaski Day parade, and you were always wearing your beaded vest and your white skirt with the ribbons. Um, but but what, what we have here, again, the most familiar. Uh, the men tasseled vests, and now the more modern Kraków vests are also women have the same tassels. Um, the peacock feathers, yeah. it's just a look. Uh, that's what we recognize. Um, we have selected a variety of dolls for you to take a look at here as well. All different regions. In fact, many of the, some of the dolls here are also represented in some of the costumes that a couple of our young people are wearing. Um, we have Sarah, Sarah first, and Sarah's wearing a costume from Łowicz. Łowicz, I'm going to just stand right out here in the middle. Kraków is right here. Here's Kraków, and you would see the Krakowski costume, and Łowicz is just off to the north a bit. There's, it's just a, a picture. Doesn't, I, I mean, doesn't she look gorgeous? <laughs> <laughs> but at any rate, thanks, Sarah. If you'll just make a smile over there. Since we're near Kraków, Dobrowianka. This is again a variation of the costume right from within Kraków. You'll see the uh, a velvety um, applique with some rhinestones, but certainly much different than the costume that you and I are used to seeing, the beaded vests. Um, embroidered, and it particularly red. This is, this is such a beautiful skirt. It's all, in, it's very similar to my uh, Guralska cutwork blouse here, but here she's got, it, it's a heavy linen skirt with a beautiful red embroidered apron. Um, and again, that's from the area just near Kraku on the other side. And then we have, we're going to go, um, well, I guess we're going to Zeshuf. Come on in here. Matthew's got a costume from Zeshuf on and the typical, don't you just love the hat? Uh, his, his hat with these little pom-poms on his vest, these appliques on, on the legs of his pants, and all the way around it's pom pom It's just a, a, a lovely outfit. He's wearing a, a, linen a linen blouse shirt, men's our shirt, right? Not a linen shirt with a beautiful embroidered placard here in the middle. So stand up a little taller. Right? Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. Now there you go. go. Now right. go. <laughs> very nice. Thank you. Oh, yeah, thank you. It wasn't so good. Was no. <laughs> okay. Um, the costume that you see here is very similar to mine. It's from southern Poland, from Zakopane. It has the Edelweiss pattern. Obviously mine is red with green and there's a, a variety of one. This is unusual, this is one of Copernic's vests and it has a, a turquoise beading, it's unusual. The floral skirt and we're wearing, both of us, the model, the, um, the mannequin and myself, we have on a special shoe called a kerpce. And it's, um, 
uh, it's a it's a leather shoe and it's quite interesting because it actually wraps up around your ankle the men and the women both wear them it hooks into your sock or on the men's pants it hooks into that heavy the heavy wool pants that they wear so literally you just wrap it up and hook it on but these are kerza uh, now we're going to move way up to the top and we're going to go to actually where my parents my father's family is from which is uh, the Kurpia region. This is an unusual costume and it's, uh, it features this tall hat that the women wear with the, with the um, uh, ribbons. I can't, you can't see her ribbons. She has a whole set of ribbons in the back and uh, flowers on the side. But it's a very unusual costume. At Holy Trinity we like to wear them at Easter time because some of the costumes we have are the vests are purple and the skirts are green, but they're they're bright, they're beautiful, and again, a lovely uh, crocheted apron um, on that particular one. And the other, the last place I want to uh, show you a costume from is also from northern Poland, which is uh, Varmia from Varmia region. This is a costume from Zhivyets City, and Tatiana's wearing this for us. They are just a beautiful lace. Lace, there you guys. A couple times, yes. Okay. And now this, this costume uh, belongs to the, the Polish Heritage Dancers. It's not an authentic costume as every other one that you've seen here today. But we couldn't afford this fabulous lace, which, Tom, can you give us any information on the lace? Well, uh, today in Konyaku, which is near the town of Wisła in the Carpathian Mountains, uh, still produce um, hand lace, hand-done lace. And I believe it's the royal family. I think it may have been Queen Elizabeth that ordered part of her wedding costume from there. So spectacular quality. Obviously ours is not that same lace. However, you can quite imagine this is exactly what the costume looks like. So give us one more spin. And and I think I'd, I'd ask them to just so come back out and thank you for your kind attention. And I thank my, my seventh graders here who helped me out. Spectacular. All right, just one nice bow. One nice bow. <laughs> okay, thanks very much. Thanks very much.